Today is day five of Alabama Rush, and it is the first day of Sisterhood Around. I'm so excited. Hi guys, it's Grant. Today was pref round, and I got a phone call this morning, and I was cut. It is extremely upsetting, and I'm sad. Bro, you tripping. This video is brought to you by the Alpha Tatum Store, the Alpha Tatum Store. Ladies and gentlemen, we are having a sale. Under not, under $10 for t-shirts, under $15 for hoodies. You better get them now. People are buying up all of the merch. We're trying to get rid of our older merch to bring in the new stuff for the winter. So you, this is the only opportunity you're going to get a, a shirt for $9.00. And hoodies for $14. You ain't going to see it again. Go on, click on the tab at the top, select items, you'll get it. And we also launched a whole bunch of new stuff. This shirt right here, the Don is coming back into stock. Y'all better go to the store and check it out before it's too late because they sell out and they sell out fast. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, I make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, can somebody explain this to me? bro? you tripping. What would make a man decide that he want to act like a woman and then try to get on the sorority team? He tried to go to a sorority. <laughs> what are you thinking, bro? You still got a dude name. Your name is Grant. You still got a voice like a dude. When do you draw a line in the sand and say, you can live the lifestyle and derangement that you may please, but why are you thrusting this on other people? What make you think it makes sense for you to be a man with the same genitalia you got, put a dress on, and then you're going to be in a sorority with all the girls? You think you're going to get away with that? Listen to what this guy did and listen to what he had to say about his journey to, to trying to get on a sorority during Rush. Roll the clip. OOTD Bama Rush day one convocation and open houses today and this is what I'm wearing so the skirt is from Lulu it's the new pink edition my shoes are Air Force of course my shirt is from Shein it's the really really cute one that's like everything's gonna be okay and my jewelry is from all over the place um and yeah and my hair and makeup is done by yours truly so hey y'all it's Grant today is day five of Alabama Rush and it is the first day of Sisterhood Around. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys an OOTD. And yeah, so my shirt is, my dress is from Hello Molly. Thank you so much, Hello Molly. Love you. Hey y'all, it's Grant. Today is the last day of Sisterhood Rounds here at the University of Alabama. Um, it's primary recruitment. And so I don't have I mean, anywhere to go today. But I still wanted to do an OOTD because I already have everything picked out for every single day. And so everyone's schedules are different. And so that's just how it works. Hi, guys. It's Grant. Today was pref round. And I got a phone call this morning and I was cut. It is extremely upsetting. And I'm sad because I wanted to be a part of a sisterhood and more than that, a community. And, you know, it's kind of just... I keep on waiting for my Rokai to call me and be like, just kidding. You could bring it on to bed day tomorrow because tomorrow's bed day. I don't even know what to say. Thank you all so much for following along. Um, here we are. Um, I posted a like thing on my Instagram talking a little bit more about, you know, kind of what happened as of right now. Um, you can click the hyperlink in my TikTok bio, or you can just look me up. It's Grant Eli Sykes, just my full name. Um, and yeah, so thank you for all the love and support, and I love you. All I can think about is, duh, what are you thinking? Now, I'm going to tell you what I think strategically is going on here, is this person is looking to go viral, right? I'm talking about it. A lot of other people are talking about him. He's looking to go viral. What bigger stunt you can you do than to know for a fact you're not going to be accepted, especially in the South? No colleges in the South will accept what he's doing. No, you're not going to get accepted. You do your little shenanigans. You go through the process. You play the game of being a victim. You write your little letters. You promote it on your TikTok. And then you go viral. And then you turn it into future success. That's pretty much what he's doing. However, 
I do think it's apparent and it needs to be addressed that people need to stop cutting up. And I'm glad that that young women are standing up against these this foolery. It's they're standing up against the foolery. You cannot act like a girl and somehow be a part of women's sports. Now, if you want to do that in America, you can go do it off on the sideline somewhere and stay and you know be to yourself. Why do you feel like that there's a desire to be interjected into society because one day you decide to change? You don't change nothing else but your but your clothes. And somehow you're a woman. You ain't got nothing happens once a month for you, but somehow you're a woman. You can never get pregnant. There's not even a chance. You don't even have a chance to not be able to get pregnant. You don't have none of the material needed to be pregnant, but somehow you think you're a woman. When is this lunacy gonna stop? Ladies and gentlemen, it is going too far. It is going too far. I don't understand. And I don't know, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say this. I don't understand why a person would want to be in a sorority anyway, or fraternity. I saw when I was in college, I was on a football team, which I would argue is a is a team, is a group, is a fraternity in and of itself. But you're talking about the regular ones? They, listen, they charge you money to beat you up. They charge you money to haze you and be a part of something. You got to pay for it. I remember when I was younger, I wanted to be, I wanted to go to an HBCU and I wanted to be a Kappa or, or whatever they call it, whatever these, these black sororities are. It, it, the songs used to be cool. I mean, they used to dance and they do the, uh, 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 and I was like, I, I, that's what I want to be. <laughs> Even one of the sororities, they brand you. They put a they put a, a, a brand on you. And then I was informed that you gotta pay thousands and thousands and ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars to be a part of that. I said, you, you you telling me they don't beat you up and haze you for free? You gotta pay ten thousand dollars for them to haze you? That makes absolutely no sense to me. But I would argue that it's you know the only reason people do that is because if you got money. It is an incredible networking opportunity, right? If you are part of this fraternity or sorority, you get perks for life. And if you are of this elite status and you got enough money to do it, you can pay your way into this elite group. That's pretty much what it is. And uh, this dude should be ashamed of himself. But like I said, I think it's a money-making strategy. Hey, I am trying to knock the hustle, but we need to watch out for these people that try to play the game, and I'm glad that they've stood up. However, I don't know how long they're going to stand up. I, I, I'm waiting for the day that a man gets into a sorority and, and, and they treat him like he a regular like like he, he a regular girl. And then all the women have to be uncomfortable because this dude out here with his jangling swing. Okay, don't listen to me. Just, 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 I'll see you on the next video. I'm out.